first of all, it's the most abundant protein in, in our bodies. And then it's, it has a really important role. It's a, it's a structural protein, and I, I like that aspect of it. Um, what is also in this context really interesting is that we, that we have three essentially identical strands which mean nothing by themselves. And together, you know, they, they, they form something that's much stronger than each of those individual strands. Um, and I think that's a really nice um, metaphor for what's happening here in the CIPR, that disciplines, very different disciplines, get pulled together to do something new and wonderful. Well, it's a mix of different techniques. It starts in the computer and then it goes over, you know, laser cutting, stainless steel, and then fabrication, welding, different techniques. I took um, elevation drawings of the new building and, and it started out by fitting it in there to see what would match the architecture that's around it. And then I, I went here and, and kind of looked if, if my intuition from the drawings was right in the actual space. And so it turned out it was about 16 to 20 feet which we needed. Well then I use my own software that turns the points in space, basically the positions of the carbon alpha atoms, into cutting instructions and then I weld it together. And if you weld you get a lot of distortion because of the heat. In this case I put in the hydrogen bonds or the connectors between the strands on the, on the top and that gives me a pretty good idea of how accurate it is. Um, it's on the order of, a, of an, up to an inch which is, you know, for a structure it's like about a, t a percent or so. That's pretty accurate for, for that kind of fabrication. I knew I wanted to have three different colors, the three primaries essentially. But um, after a long like, thinking I went f away from the clear, from the saturated primaries towards like more pastel-y kind of colors. Um, for a number of reasons. One is that I wanted them to be still similar enough that they look like a unit and not too dissimilar. And the other reason is that I wanted to get enough light through the sculpture because you look at least two panels at a time. So if it was too opaque, I think I was worried about getting too dark. So I think that's a good compromise like this. That, that really depends again. First, it depends on what you mean by from idea. I mean, I've thought about collagen for many years already. I did my first one in 2005. And the lots of the know-how I've been using is, is a decade old, basically, or it has been developed over the last 10 years. Um, the actual fabric design process, the fine tune, the, the initial phase was was a few weeks to get an idea of what I wanted, and then the the precise design was about two or three months maybe. While we were waiting for the stainless tubing, which had to be custom made, and um, the actual fabrication was about three months. Oh, I am not sure. At least. 20, I would say. It doesn't directly for me. I mean, for me, steel is a structural thing. You know, we use it all the time for structural things in our world. So that, that corresponds really well with the idea of collagen to me. Glass is for me more on a metaphorical level. If glass is just really beautiful. It's, it's warm and it's compared to the steel. It has it has this. You know, when light comes through colored glass, it's this outer world, otherworldly beauty. And that's, that's come related to how I feel when I think about this, the marvelous world of proteins, how everything fits together in this incredibly beautiful and wonderful way. Mm -hmm.